Um, I want to bring up real quick the march on the Pentagon that kind of happened one year earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, So David Dellinger, his group, uh, they call it the MOB. The uh, The Dellinger Escape Plan. The Dellinger Escape Plan. Um, They call it the MOB, the, uh, the National mobilization committee to end the war in vietnam they march on the pentagon and it's kind of hijacked by abby hoffman and jerry rubin and they decide that they're going to be a bunch of their guys to drop acid and basically sit like on the field around the pentagon and try to um levitate it with mind powers it was basically like a performance thing but you talk about how This guy came to the Pentagon with, like, an actual serious agenda with, like, actually trying to end the war. And then these guys decide we're going to use psychic powers to try to levitate a building. And you see how that's how the movement is forever portrayed. And that's why I fucking, even when Occupy Wall Street was going on or anytime anytime the, the left is painted, like, by that character... Yeah. Like the right has like one character for us. It's like someone on a couch smoking weed. Yeah. Who doesn't like want to work or something. Right. And it's just like, why even entertain that by, you know, but people are exactly. diverse. There are people like that. No, it's one, fine, uh, it's 100%. Like, you know, uh, it's just, uh, I always feel like I don't want to be represented by that character. Caricature. No, no. And yeah. it shouldn't, but, uh, I I think it's as, as it's why it's important that this movie is coming out now is because the peace movement of the 60s they they let themselves get depicted like that. Mm. All the media that came out afterwards all all the movies that showed the peace movement, Forrest Gump. Well, it was tied into like entertainment culture yes. and music and like rock they, stars. They depicted and, them and, and it's basically saying modern day per- progressives, we cannot let that happen to us. Yeah. Of uh, we we have to fight back against this uh, this characterization of us that are that is not true. Well, that's why I think it's good that we have like working class people from working class backgrounds of different ethnicities coming up and now you know coming into congress and stuff like that that's true also i I don't know i agree man no 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 i I don't want to be seen like that either there is a pretty uh there's also QAnon members coming there's also Congress, so yes you win some you lose some yes and there is the difference where someone like bernie sanders or alexandria ocasio cortez 50 years ago would have never been elected into senate or into congress someone as progressive who represents (laughs) people like us would have (laughs) never been yeah but then again go go and read an fdr speech and you're like is That's this true. AOC? <laughs> That's true. Because as a whole, politically, this country has Ooh. gone way to the right. Yeah. Way to the right. Dude, there was a fucking... Someone put it up the other day. It was like literally bullet points of like FDR's administration. And it was like Bernie Sanders to a T. Yes. To a T. You you look about... Uh, you look at President Eisenhower. He was a yeah. Republican. He's further to the left than most Democrats. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, that's why he Bi- was a general they, in the they, military. They got to put and that's he's why, further to the left than most Democrats today. Because yeah, he was probably an act, actual patriotic person. It's true. You know, who, who like, you know, certain people that I don't know enough about him to speak intelligently on it. But my point is, like, you know, a lot of these people that are sending people off to war, they've never been there. And I'm not saying you should go to war to, to be able to have an opinion. But, you know don't take things so lightly, you know, a lot of, of the, and, and that's why we have to, you're right when you say this country has moved so far to the right, <clears throat> that FDR, his policies would be seen as radical left now. Yeah. Um, but that's why we have to put pressure on Biden. Because, John, uh, John F. Kennedy, his yeah. policies would be viewed as radical left now. He's further, he's way further to the left than AOC or, or mm-hmm. Bernie Sanders. No, it's crazy. It's crazy what's happened. But I hope that Biden's cabinet is... Uh, I hope that the squad, whatever you want to call them, puts enough pressure on... Right now, they're trying to... 
they're trying to block like one of his nominations. Well, the, but, yeah, the um, the we'll goal see. is just don't stop. The the yeah, fight no, exactly. doesn't end because we won the presidency. Right. We didn't even really win no, the presidency. Exactly. The Democrats won the presidency. Wall Street. Wall Street won the presidency. Exactly. And Wall Street was going to win no matter what. Yeah. So. That's why we have to it's kill a weird them all. Time. <laughs> In conclusion, this became, this became an eat the rich thing. <laughs> um, it it's a great. It's movie, not even just eat the rich. It's just just fucking basic FDR. FDR. Can we just have FDR. That's it. We gotta get him back. We got him back. He was a little bit of a racist though. I, I mean, everybody was. Everybody was back then. Doesn't I'm sure. Make it, it right. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't make it right. right. Doesn't make it right. The internment camps were not cool. This went, this went off the rails. We were talking about the Chicago 7. Well, no. Well, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying um, the person of FDR, but the the point is, why did we take such a slide in the opposite direction? It's supposed to be forward Ronald progress. Reagan happened. Ronald Reagan well, got everything. A lot every, of things happened. I know. Ronald Reagan got rid of everything, and then that became the norm. And that's actually why uh, Abby Hoffman was so disenfranchised with what happened in the 80s because of Reaganism that he ended up killing himself. Is because, that true? Yes. Because, oh. I mean, not just Reagan. I'm not saying, like, Reagan killed him. I, if, I would support that conspiracy theory. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the documents. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, well, and also Abby Kaufman was killed in 94, and uh, he was walking down the street and car hit him, so maybe that was also Ronald Reagan. No, uh, wait. We just no, said, uh, Jerry Rubin. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, well, also, we Jerry Rubin became a stockbroker later in life, so fuck him. I mean, you know, the stock market is up. Did you see press... Uh, Whatever the fuck his name is, Trump's press conference today. Uh, it's probably not going to be Whoever the fuck his name is? I don't, I don't want to. I'm tired of thinking about him. He just, he did a one minute press conference just talking about the Dow Jones. And then all the reporters were like, So are you going to concede? And then he was, he just walked away. 